back to my channel. My name is Karen. In today's video, I'd like to review um, one of the projects that I completed in the last week. Um, I thought there were several other projects that I was um, planning on working on, but time wouldn't permit. So I have one, but then again, I had I have some patterns from the uh, Simplicity sale that just started. And so I'd like to take a look at those and um, pair them with a few fabrics that I have. Um, some from my stash and some that just came in. So again, I'm gonna review the dress I recently made, review some patterns that I just picked up along with um, ideas of the fabric I have in my stash, as well as a few um, ones that just came in. Um, start off by saying I'm wearing, I was asked, so I'm uh, putting the information out there. As wearing, I am wearing New Look 6560, and it's that green and black um, linen top I made here. And I made it without the uh, ruffles that's on there. It's just plain. Um, I added the strap to the side. I've shown this in one of my previous makes. I've added the strap to the side instead of just tying it the way um, the pattern suggests. So um, this is what it looks like. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing today. It's new look 6560 puff sleeve going on there. Yeah, I like it. Um, let me get on with the video now that I've shown you what I'm wearing. So um, my first thing that I uh, basically want to talk about is the dress. So I made this dress using um, McCall's, that's McCall's 8035. And I did a couple things different with this pattern. With this pattern, um, I wanted something longer for the fabric I had. It was a flowing, is a flowing fabric, and I wanted something different, something longer. So what I did, I kind of chopped it up a bit. I um, I added two inches. I'll add the stuff as I go along. I added two inches in on the bodice back and the bodice front. So I made an adjustment because I didn't want it to stop immediately under here. I wanted a bit down more on my stomach. So um, two inches took it there for me. Um, with this piece, I also slit this piece in two and made a smaller skirt and then made a middle section and the final section. So I have about three pieces going down from the, the bodice. I added more fabric in each. I think this called for two pieces and then another three here. Or so I added three here and four down here. And I made this piece shorter just to get the frill because I was going a bit longer. I'm five feet, three and a half, maybe four. So a, it, too long for me looks kind of weird. Um, this is what I ended up with. I absolutely love this, but now I regret not buying more of the fabric. I went back to the website to get it and I think there was only one yard left there, so it's gone. And um, the sale was on, so I got it for, I would have gotten it for $7.99 because of a, another discount I would have gotten. So I regret not getting more. This is a gorgeous uh, uh, cotton sateen viscose, I think it was. So it was a beautiful fabric. Anyway, that's what I did. But I'll also like to talk about the insides of the dress and show you what the insides look like. So let me go grab it from the thing and I'll be back in a minute. So it also has this little strap action going on right here. I have not finished the belt yet. It's something I'm gonna be working on, but just for uh, reference, I wanted to tie it so that you could see what it looks like. Okay. So on the insides of this dress, um, I had some homemade bias um, tape that I made. So it was off of a gingham shirt I had. So what I did, I cut strips and I used it to form the inside. See, I thought it would look crazy because there's so much blue going on there, but I think it came out um, okay. It worked well. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So um, I used it to finish all the inside. This is what the waist of my dress looks like. I'm stretching it so you can see it. 
because when the elastic is in it, it doesn't give much context. So this is what the waist looks like. This is the, um, what do you call it? The section I put the elastic. So this is a casing I made for the elastic using this piece on the inside just to close it. And then didn't go without the usual right here. So, and then for the insides as well, I did the very same thing with these pieces going on there. So on the outside, it's a beautiful piece. And on the inside, on the inside, it's doing the same thing right there. So this is what the insides look like. So overall, I think it was a great make. I'll show you the three tears that I did. And I kind of liked how it turned out. Again, my only regret with this dress is the fact that I didn't have more to create a more dramatic flow or tear with um, the idea I had in mind. So I'm gonna be looking for um, something like this going uh, uh, in the future. I don't think it's, they'll reorder, I think. I'll take a look at it and see if it's something that's closed out or it's something that I can possibly reorder. I'll put a link or a picture I got it and all that. I said it in my last video's mood. If they do have more, if you're interested, you'll be able to order. If not, you can put yourself on a wait list. And as soon as it comes in, you'll be able to get it. Not sure you'll be able to get it at $7.99 or $9.99 it was. So yeah, so that was that. Again, I'll leave a link in the um, description. I'll also put a picture of the item and everything else. So you can get it if it comes back in stock. Um, now on to the patterns as well as um, the options I have available. So now last week, I think I talked much about um, the gingham. I had two uh, pieces that I bought. So this one was from Style Maker. This one was from Mood. I think when I put them together, they're a bit different. I don't know if this one is lighter. This one has more royal blue in it. But um, I saw a pattern that I absolutely love. I've had it for a while. It's a design I saw. It's a picture of a design. I didn't know where to get it, how to get it. But on looking through my patterns, I saw this. And I thought that this would be perfect for what I saw it for. It was probably a gingham, something like that. But the design on this, which is, oh goodness, I have to get in there because the package has one thing and the outside has another. I think I took this up from the display shelf. So give me one second. I'll tell you what the pattern is in a minute. So this one is New Look uh, 6601. It's New Look 6601. And the pattern of my choice, the fabric that I'm gonna be um, finishing up with, I don't know which is which. This one looks a bit lighter as I said, but this is what I have left over from that blue shirt I made. I bought two yards, I have yard and a half, so maybe I'll kind of balance this one on the cuff. I'm not sure. Do uh, cut it on the bias, make a difference, I don't know. Um, on second thought, that shirt in my mind does not have a sleeve, it's a sleeveless, so yes. Um, maybe I could use this for the ruffle. Um, so this is what I'll be using for that. I think it, it calls for probably a, a yard or a little bit over. This is perfect that I have two yards of this and some left over a half yard from this one. But I absolutely love this. It, the, the top is like a sleeveless and then this piece that laps over to make the fold with buttons on the side. That piece has some ruffles going on, I think from the neck, both necklines, a side of the neck, and then it comes down to the side. I think it's a great feature that I can play with the fabric, you know, make a little fray or something like that on the ruffles, but it's, I think it's a nice piece to add. So um, definitely gonna try it and I'll let you know what it turns out. But I just found this pattern this morning and I thought, why the heck, why not use it? Here's another one that I have and I've had it for a while, not sure what to do with it. It's a, a white, but it has these um, designs in it. 
I forgot what it's called right now, but yeah. An eyelet, yes. So I have this white eyelet. I think I got it from Style Maker years ago. I have been wanting to cut it for several patterns. I was like, no way. But then going through my stash, I found this. It looks plain. However, it's the base for it. another design I, I saw. I'll put a picture of that one up. This one has the line. It has the lines, uh, line drawing on the bodice which will allow me to add ruffles. I don't know what's up with me and ruffles lately. It's not something I like, but somehow it just finds itself. I like the look for now, maybe later on I'll change, but I don't know. Um, it has the lines on the bodice that cut in the design that can accommodate the uh, frills going over on the side. Again, I'll insert something so you have an idea of what I'm talking about, but yeah. I like the cut on the bodice, um, probably just insert something all the way to the back, creating a nice element design. I don't have a complete white dress and with summer coming, I think this is ideal, get it out. I'll probably line it because this eyelet is extremely thin, like handkerchief thin. Yeah, it's really, really thin. And I can see my skin through here. So I'm not gonna, um, make something and not line it so for the top and the bottom i'll probably make a shorter skirt like um underneath or something like that but yeah this is my idea for it again i'll show you what my idea is because sometimes i just blurt stuff out not thinking that you can't see it or know it but it's these ideas just come to me flowing with the fabric and sometimes a pattern because i look at them a lot or i might be just browsing something and I, and I find it i never can tell um, but once I have it, I immediately rush to get the pattern or look for it and screenshot the, the, the fabric or the picture of my idea of what's going on because I can't sketch. So that's the best I can do. Um, here is another fabric that came in. This one, a bit of a disappointment. Um, what I saw in the picture online wasn't what I got in terms of I had a darker shade in my mind maybe it was the lighting but when i'm buying fabric what i do i look at my phone i also look at my computer just to make sure it's they're kind of uniform they're not far apart from what i'm getting and both had the same look i wanted something of a more um darker something probably with a sheen maybe it looks different to you but for right here it just looks like a washed out fabric so once it got here i had to change my idea of what i had in mind i had like a big shirt thing going on but this is what it looks like and again I liked um shirt dress shirt and I think this was one that I could do for a uh, dress shirt and tie a little bow here that can go with jeans everything I want go with jeans or slacks for work so um do double duty but on looking at the fabric I have some different ideas I thought about Vogue 9299, Vogue 9299. I'm sorry, I need my glasses to see. <laughs> Vogue 9299, I think it's a great one. I've made this several times, but I think a view B would be a great option. I definitely like uh, view B, you can see that with this. Just a nice uh, shirt dress. It won't be a shirt for me because I'm uh, the height, the length of this would end up being a dress. So I like View B. I've made it before. Can show you something um, of similar so you have an idea. But yeah, I have three yards of this. Um, this is an option. I also see McCall 6885 as an option, View D. This is a nice shirt dress as well. Really nice one. I've seen it made up in Gingham and was surprised. It was, yeah, a green one. Um, so yes, this is a great idea for this blue one. Um, and also on the idea of just having a shirt, this was what I wanted, a big shirt. So this one's McCall 6124. I wanted view D and this shirt right here, I could jog with leggings, just, you know, it's a nice dress down, but still looking classy with that one. Um, the only thing, um, I hesitate about this one is it has lots of line drawing in the fabric. And so I, I think it's best for me to make it with something that's plain that wouldn't really show all that much um, 
in the fabric because I'm cutting all, everything up and then these might not line up so well. I know they don't have to, but um, I have a problem cutting it up, all of that. So it has lots of line drawing, so it's not like a plain three piece where you cut one for the back and two for the front. It has several um, pieces in there. So again, that's an idea for this blue uh, shirting I got from Mood. Um, I'll add the link as well as pictures for this one, but I have the three options here. So McCall 6124 was my idea of uh, View D, the big shirt. There's also McCall 6885, my idea, D, the shirt right there. It has a drawstring in the back, but I'll make it without the string because I really don't like the idea of the string in the back. And my all-time favorite was View B. This and several different fabrics give a different look altogether. Absolutely love it. So this is Vogue 9299. And that was my option. Those are my options for this fabric right here. The next one on my list is a, uh, looks like a chalet viscose thing going on. I like the design when I saw it. This is a color I was looking for in one I just showed you, this bright blue. But this has a nice thing where I got it. It's kind of a border print. So one side, the end gives these, um, ver uh, these uh, horizontal lines going across and then the polka dot, which is my ultimate favorite. So I thought about like a dress and having this, the lines as the lines as the base and then the top doing something else. Um, the idea I have was a pattern I saw, a dress, sorry, not a pattern, a dress I saw a while back and the best pattern I could find to describe that dress was something like probably this. It doesn't look okay here, but I've made this before. Something probably like here with the neckline, um, which covers the back. I think this is a great pattern. It's view A that I use. Again, I've made it before. I think it's a great one. I love it. Um, I have to go in again to get the idea. This was something from the top of the pattern cabinet, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the, um, it's McCall 7943, it's 7943. And again, I think this is a nice view for me. Um, this also would be great, but I don't uh, apply well with long dresses, unless I'm wearing heels or something like that. And I'm looking for something that's an everyday wear. If I make it this long, I'll never, just jump to the store and dressed up in heels and stuff like that. Again, I don't do much um, going out. So this is nice, but this is more practical. These pieces are more practical for me. They can just jump and then I can see this where um, I could just do white sneakers and it'd be fine. I could do navy heels with this one and it'd be fine. So I'm thinking of a piece that's really practical. This side um, lends itself to really fancy dressing up and this balances out like a casual two-piece thing going on. So I absolutely love this fabric. I've had it now for maybe four years. Got it from Style Maker Fabric back then. Didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I love it so much that I just I just bought it. And that's how I, I do my fabric most of the times I see it. Don't know what I'm going to make with it, but it, it there's something about it. So I just hold on to it at that time. The next one again I have is from Style Maker Fabric. And it's more of a border print. When I got this one, I had the idea of a shirt. It was like, um, not like a cilio top, that pattern there. It has uh, two pieces to it. I was looking for something that I could do like sleeves like this, but at the end of my sleeve, this would be the design there. The rest of the shirt, body of the shirt would be something like this. Um, again, I play a lot with shirt patterns and shirts and gives me great ideas. So I was thinking of just making a regular button down using this. And this would be like the lip, uh, the button placket right here and the end of the sleeves um, and possibly the collar. So you would have the end of the sleeves, one design, the collar, one design, the placket, one design, which is this. And then the rest of the shirt would be this. I think um, it gives a different piece to the shirt. You get the fabric, it's one thing, but then you make, at the end of it, when you make whatever you make, it's hard to tell that that was the fabric you really used to do it. But 
it came and it's too thin for the shirt that um button down shirt i was thinking of so then i thought about um here's another new look that i took off the counter new look 6582 that's 6582 i had to go in again because i took it off the display so um view a fits that it's like a little um peasant top going on there with a little string at the top at the tie of the neck and then on the sleeves it has this puff sleeve action going on which is perfect for the idea i had for this top um so yeah i think this would be great i love this in the black it is too it look, looks like a practical one you could do for almost anything dress up or dress down but yeah i think this is a great fabric for it as well i also think mccall's 8042 i didn't grab this one to display the numbers right there and view b is also a nice one um I like the sleeve action with that in, in the sense that um, yeah, it looks like elastic. Yeah, elastic puff sleeves there, but the neck piece is what I like about it. It has a little string, um, little tie strings that you put there, but then the cute little ruffles at the end on the neckline is what I like about it. Again, it's just a casual top, but the fabric to me is what's gonna make the difference. Uh, pattern may look simple, the lines and everything, but the fabric is, I think, is what makes the design. Um, so these two peasant top going on. One's a dressier version. The other one looks casual. But again, we'll see. This is also um, a nice top, a nice fabric that can play either way. Yeah, they're both nice. The other one I have is... Oops, the other one I have is kind of a busy piece for me, undecided. I liked it online when I bought it. I wasn't quite sure whether it was a white background. It didn't say white or how dark the beige is going to be. This cream thing going on. So um, uh, for me, when I saw it, I like, I like this type of fabric, abstract. It's just one of those pieces where I don't know what about it, but I get it and I, I see it immediately and I think, ah, I have to have it. I don't know. At the time I bought it, I had no clue what I was going to do with it. I just went on and it was mood.com. I'm sorry. I went on and they had this like pre-sale before it went out for everyone else. And I saw it. I was like, let me get it. There was only a hundred yards, I think, left. That's a lot, but not, not in the fashion world. You see it one minute, it's gone the next. So I took, uh, I think this is three yards of it. Yeah, but it's more of a chalet to me. It's Rayon Baptiste, but I don't think I've ever worked with it or maybe I did and didn't know. So I made a note mentally that it's really a thin piece that sways a lot. So um, when I got it, I thought, why not? There's this dress I've always been wanting to make. It's kind of an abstract this one i've made it before in i think a, a viscose twill which was really a nice one um really a lot of movement going in this one so i think this would be perfect it's simplicity 8084 and there's so many ideas for this one i have three yards i think this length for me three yards gets me there so I think this one would be a great one for that. And then on looking at this pattern too, just popped in my head, this one, this middle shirt dress here can also be a nice piece for either of the two blue I just showed you with the shirt. This plain one right here, yes. Because you could have the design at the bottom of the dress and on the sleeves at the end for this one as well. So it'd be a great, a great piece, practical piece. So yeah, back to this, a squirrel chasing my mind. So yes, this one abstract print has lots of movement. I also thought of this uh, as a, uh, uh, a nice jumpsuit, but unfortunately for me, it's too thin. It would provide a lot of movement, yes, very dramatic, but it's too thin and I'm already struggling with pants. So I don't think getting into lining it would be the easiest task for me to, or challenge for me to get right now. So yeah, that's one of the uh, patterns for that one. I also think this is a great one. I'm not sure, it's a 79, M7925. And what I was thinking about is, 
This requires more, but this is a nice one. I've seen a dress in this one. I think it's in my head right now. It's a brown dress, brown, black, contrasting, abstract fabric, I think. Um, and the design was something similar to this. I saw the dress and immediately remembered this one. It's uh, a long enough thing, but I changed the sleeves from elasticated sleeves to probably like a shirt cuff. I'd add the regular shirt sleeve and then put the cuff on the um, end of it. And here, I don't know if I make an adjustment on the skirt piece having so long. And then this is the piece right here. Again, um, it's just the frills. You never know. I just don't think it's something I like, but design looks nice. Um, the neckline, I don't know. Um, maybe a little of string going on in the in, in right there, but I'll put a picture of the dress I saw, the design, and you can decide. But I think this too, it would be nice for that. So there's two for that. My absolute <laughs> choice of making that one would be this though. I would choose this one and it's Simplicity A546. The reason for that is I think this is a two for one. This one is just the long one with the slits going down, long sleeves. Here it is again. It can work as a shirt dress and it can work as a duster right here. Um, if you want, you could just add a simple belt too and it's still a nice one. So for me, the choice would be of all three would be this one simply because it's black and white um i absolutely love black and white but with making so much color that makes me happy you'd never tell but this is the one i i like absolutely love this one for that black and white um contrasting design the next one i have stuck in my head again it's another um contrasting print and this one, um, also from Mood, it was true to what I saw on design. Absolutely love it. This one I thought would have been more ideal with this design in like um, something that has more flow, like a linen viscose or like a cotton viscose, like that one back there. This would have been so so uh, perfect for me for what I want being selfish what I looked at when I saw this was a big shirt I like the idea of having a uh, one of those big shirts that I could just pull on I see this one with a pop collar and sleeve going on not this but a shirt sleeve going on um, just a regular shirt sleeve pop collar uh, a roomy design and I do with this with leggings this can go with heels too this can go with flats. I see this one with an animal print slacks on. <clears throat> when I say slacks, I mean the shoes, not the, not the leggings. This one I see with just black leggings on and nice heels can go with this one too, or just the, a pull on, a simple loafer with this one. But yeah, I saw this one and I thought big shirt. Now this one I've made before, which is Simplicity 8830. But I didn't make as this. What I did, and I'll show you what the design looks like. I added the regular uh, shirt sleeve with the cuff because I didn't like this piece right here. But um, I also added a collar. And again, most of the times I see these patterns. I like the illustration, but then I look at how I can make changes or what works for me or what I see in my mind. This is a good base. And I used this one to make the shirt. What I did though, I was okay with the high and low front and back, but I extended the, the front piece the way this is. I extended the front piece down, still a shirt, not necessarily a dress, adding a collar, adding a regular short sleeve, and then um, uh, extend the front. I think I extended the front piece down a bit and so it was almost the same length as the back. The high-low, mm, didn't really like it much, but it still had a high-low feature, but not fully. Because when it's high-low like this, I have an issue when I'm hemming it. The curve inside for me is a bit too deep, and so I can't get it as neat as possible. I could get it neatly enough if I'm using like a bias tape, but not everything I do a bias tape. If I'm looking for a small um, finish on the end, 
when I get to that curve, I have a challenge right there. So I try to extend the front so that I get more of it and it comes out in a neater finish. But I see this as a nice big shirt with this fabric. Again, this is a cotton poplin from Mood. I'm gonna add a collar. So I can do a little pop collar action there. Put the shirt sleeve on with cuffs and I should be good to go for this one using the Mimi G Simplicity 8830. I'll let you know what it looks like. I'll also pop in something that I've made before that looks really well with that one. The next one I have is, I've tried making this one before in black. I still haven't finished it. I think it doesn't excite me in the sense that the black doesn't give the design any um, feature or anything. It, it's, it's hard to see what it looks like in a black. And so I'm not motivated to finish it. I cut it, started it, a great design, but no. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of what I saw and I thought this was the inspiration for this. I'm making this, I take this piece off because it looks like it has a second ruffle on the end. I'm going to make it with the, without the uh, second ruffle. I'm going to make it with the two tiers, not the third piece going down right there. Um, I think for this one as well, I'm going to make it in long sleeves, like a regular shirt sleeve with a cuff. It's a more practical piece for me. Anything with a collar is fine. I'm gonna pop the collar for this one. Um, but I think I was gonna make a, a ples a, a, like a simple peasant shirt with this when it, when it came and I thought, no, it's a waste. I'm gonna do a dress. I was thinking it's too busy for a dress, but no. Um, I, I'm seeing it in my head. Maybe when I cut it and, and do it, it's not the same. But I absolutely love the brown pastels nice design there a bit of blue in there yeah i can see nothing but this for right now again i wanted it for a shirt but when i looked at it i'm like um uh, might be too much for a shirt and how i go about it i i like the fabric i take a look at the fabric and sometimes i say to myself would that be in a store with that design would you would you buy that shirt if you saw it what would you think of the fabric i'm like no it's too crazy. It really depends. I ask myself several questions when I'm making stuff or when I'm buying the fabric I like, what I'm gonna make with it. I just don't just make something because it goes well together or the idea is great. I look at it, is it something that you'd see on a, on a rack and buy it? Because I wanna be able to make my stuff, make my clothes and say yes. It's something that I could see in the store or it's not something that looks homemade. So that's what I'm going for when I saw this. And I'm thinking of oh, this pattern might be a bit too much, but if I take the frill off and um, use it, it would be a practical piece. Again, um, as I go along, I'll show you what my ideas are in pictures more vivid. The next one I have is another shirt. And this one is from Mood as well. Not sure if you can see what it looks like because the lines, it's just too much. Yeah, but that's that's what I saw. I thought of it as a berry for my berry blazer. So that's what I was thinking of. But then when I also looked at a picture online, I see that I could play with the, the lines going there. I could make several um, pieces from a shirt. I could play with the yoke in terms of how I cut the design with the yoke. I could play with the sleeve action, um, not necessarily the sleeve, I'm sorry. I could play with the cuff and how I cut the cuff for this one. But this fabric, when I looked at it, I realized this is something I would see in the store and buy. This is definitely like a shirt fabric that you see on the rack and you'd say, yeah, that's, that's not looking necessarily homemade. And so, yeah, this one, a pop collar, I'm gonna play with the sleeve, the cuffs on this one and see, the, so the yoke on this one and the cuffs is what I'm most excited about with this shirt. It's gonna be from my plain old Plano, which is a Simplicity 1538 for everything. It's the same shirt pattern, but I just play with it. You'll never know it's the same thing. Um, the pockets from this one, I might do if it's not too busy, depending on how I cut them. Again, it might be a great idea in my head, but I think about it, is it something that I could see on the sh on the rack in a store and, and buy it? So I might have the idea, I'm all busting with ideas, but I stop it at crazy when I say, is it something that I would purchase in a store? Or something that I would see in a store? So I might have the ideas, but again, I think practical. Is it something that you want to see in a store, high-end or anywhere else? Or it's something that you think, what were they thinking? 
So that's my idea behind this. I think about something that I buy myself, something I'd see in a store I'd visit, and then go with the idea. So that's that for that one. Oh, McCall 7575 is the pattern I um, thought about, and it's view B right here, that I could play with the cuffs, as I said before, the pockets, and the lapel for the buttons right there. The next one I have was my intention for the berry um, blazer that's to be made. And this one I went with lines instead of like the gingham. I think this one with lines is much more fun. I get more options out of it. And again, my tried and true 1538 simplicity. Um, I forgot the sale is on now. It might be a good idea for me to grab another one and have two in my stash. Just as a backup, I already have two. I have something for, um, I have a size 10 and I have something, um, I think the other one is a 10 to 12. Um, let me see. Yeah, I have two. I fluctuate between a 10 and a 12 and occasionally a 14, but a 10 to 12 is mostly. So I have two, one I already cut in a size 10, I know I can't work with, so I have, a, have another one which I cut in a size 12. So most patterns, uh, my shirt patterns that I use a lot, I have two of them and also a backup. It's cheaper at $1.99 than to say trace on paper. So yeah, this is it. So with the stripe, again, I think this is a nice one because I could get so much out of it. I could get the pockets cut, it, cut on the bias. So I could cut the pockets on the bias I could cut, cut the cuffs on the bias. I could also cut the back on the bias. I could do the lapel. I could do so many different designs in that one shirt. So again, with two yards of fabric, I got it from Mood. Two yards of fabric and um, this shirt pattern, I could, I could create wonders and I absolutely love that about it. I find something that I can work with and I play around with different styles, different patterns and see what I can get from that one pattern using different fabric. So this is another one for me. I'll be making that one first because I'm excited about it. So the next one I have, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about this one. I've had this one um, for a while, yeah. But I only picked this one up recently because it's red and white season, but I don't really go for red and white. It's bright, it's vibrant. I was thinking of a jacket, but it's a basket weave. And so because it's a basket weave, I don't think I could do my regular um, frame seam with this one because it's a thicker fabric. It really wouldn't accommodate that um, idea. So I thought about two things for this one. I thought about um, Simplicity 8594, which is this dress that I absolutely love. I love the back of the design. I also love the shoulders there. I love that creative piece right there. And I thought about this. And I thought about this because of the skirt, the way it hangs out and fans out. Yeah, and it has pockets. So that was my um, excitement with this piece. I love this one. I have four yards of this going on. So I think I, I'm back. I lost my glasses. <laughs> so for view C, which is this one, the flared out skirt right here. So for view C, it says, wow, a yard and a quarter. So I could get two things from this fabric. I could get this dress. And I could get something else. I'm thinking something like a short, um, a jacket, like a little Tiffany looking jacket, because this fabric is perfect for that but I'm not sure but then I thought about my tried and true trusted pattern I like view B simplicity 8014 I've made it before several dresses uh, more for work but for this one I thought about going here view C or view D either or I like this one because um, with this curve on the inside it allows you to finish it cutting. It has a pattern piece for that curve on the inside, which I like. So on the inside with the finish, I could also use this to finish it when I'm, instead of a hem, you have a facing that's inside this. And that is something that I absolutely like. 
I think also it has pockets on the bust pockets and on the bust pockets, what I was thinking of, um, for the bust pockets, I think I could add a touch of gold. So you might, not be able to see them, but there are two buttons that gold. So I'm gonna use gold buttons going all the way down to the front and then the two pockets, two bus pocket. I could put the buttons right there as well. I think it would be a great design, really like it. This also is another piece without the curve. It's almost like the same thing, but I think I like the curve here, who knows? Um, I really like them both, but Again, for the finish in this one, I can't use my ideal front seam because the fabric is too thick, but it also gets me excited because I could use bias binding on the insides. Again, this one be nice. I'm gonna do a real stiff pop collar thing going on. Um, shirt sleeve, I think I'll stick with this sleeve because anything longer might be too hot because the fabric is really a thick piece, like for uh, construction that needs uh, looking for something like stable, a bit more stability. So a pop collar and the regular sleeve, don't wanna to go too long on this one. So that's what I'm looking forward to about this one. Again, if it wasn't for the striped shirt, I would have started this first because again, if a color is vibrant and everything like that, it gets me started and I'm really excited about it. So Simplicity 8014 is my idea for this next project. And so after I finish the shirt, who knows, I might start on it or I might start on something else there. But uh, those are what I have in terms of uh, pa uh, the patterns, some of the patterns I have, some of the ones I bought. I also have a few more that I bought yesterday that um, I don't have anything for, but I think I like them. I've had for a while, but I pulled it out because I was going through some stuff and I thought this one, it looks plain, but then the I made it before using View C. And I pulled it out and looked at the picture. I don't have the dress, I gave it away. But it's absolutely gorgeous for a top. And I'm gonna show you why I think so. The puff sleeves is one. This uh, deep um, thing right here in the bust, that's not me. However, I was able to close it a bit. It didn't reveal much, but I still like the sexy piece like the under the bust right here. But then I added, this fabric is not doing it justice. Let me turn around, the fabric itself. It has a little um, thing going under the, under the bust, under the top, like a little bodice piece after that, which is this one, and then long sleeves. And I think it's ideal. I'm just putting it out there for anyone who's probably looking for something that cute, that neat, that sexy, right there. Um, I'll insert the picture of what it looks like using the fabric. I think I got the fabric from I can't remember, Daily Threads, probably when she had that box thing going on and stuff, I got it. It was a sateen I made, sateen fabric, and I think that was um, a very nice one. The next one I have from um, my haul is Simplicity 8330. I have this one. I've made it before, but um, I've gained weight since I made it. I think when I made it, I just made it in a size 10. Um, now I'm fluctuating between a 12 and a 14, a 12 top and a 14 to 16 bottom. So I bought this one. I could probably use pieces from both, but my little black dress idea, I absolutely love this. I like the red one too with the slit on the side, but my black, the idea of a black dress is this one. I think it's really neat and cute. And then the back itself has almost the same. Most of the patterns I see will have the front like this, the top like this, but they'll have the back less. And I'm not, I don't want that. I want my back covered. Even if there's a little exposure, I'm thinking not something that's wide open because I like the way this is and it's more my style. So I got this one, Simplicity 8330. I think it's a nice one to have in my stash. So yeah. The next one I have, um, I don't have fabric for that yet, but just in case, this one I'm thinking, thinking of a sateen and I'm thinking of a sateen because the black would be plain but the sateen has a little sheen to it and so with a little sheen it's dress up or dress down whichever way you go I think that would be nice right there also a red would be perfect the other one I, I'm going for is simplicity 8796 and this is a coat I I really love this one 
I also love the fabric it's in. The only thing I'd have a, uh, not really a problem because it's something I can adjust, is the View B. I'd go with that for a coat. I am going to be looking for a suiting for that and definitely making that one. I absolutely love it. The um, design on the side with the little belt, it's not like a belt that's all around. It's attached to the coat on either side and creates a little neat little tie right here. So I love it. I love this view and this view. They're basically the same. A and B, according to this, the only thing that's different is the length. So for me, I'm looking at probably view B because that's a shorter coat. But I said, I said, I like this fabric for it. I absolutely love the design. It's neat. It's a clean finish and it's not too much going on even with the fabric. It's just a beautiful coat. So I like that one. I would say I'd go for wool for that, no, but I'm looking for a suiting and probably do a beautiful lining. If I'm doing a wool for this, it's gonna be like a, a wool blend, not something fully wool that heavy because I want the coat to speak for itself. So something like this fabric is also nice, but I'm going for a, a blend of something not straight wool. Yeah, so that's something I will be making as well. The other thing I picked up is Simplicity 8735. 8735, and I love this one because I love a wrap dress, don't have one. The closest one I have to something color wrap is at my shirt dress, which is, which is the Simplicity 8014 have several of these and that's the closest to a wrap, but I like the way it fits me with the fact that the darts and the bust right here. So when I saw this, that's what I saw right here. The bodice has, if you notice, some darts coming in, some bust darts that go all the way down. And then on the back, it has the darts on the back, which I absolutely love too, which cinches in the waist. Every help I can get in that area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, so yeah. A nice wrap dress for this one and it calls for another catch for me it never just said okay only stretch fabric which I'm scared of because I'm not gonna use my over locker or my serger what I like about this one it gives the option of chambray cotton types uh, there's crepe too there's denim there's linen types very light micro suede ponte silky types and it goes on and on so this is a practical one because you can use several different types of fabric to create this design. And so they're not limiting you to just one um, thing. And I like this one. This is gonna be my um, first wrap dress made when I make it. And so I'm really excited about this one. But yeah, the darts is what got me with this one. I absolutely love it. The next one is something I'll be trying again. Every time I say I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. This one's a pants. But the reason why I like this one, it looks like a nice tailored pants and I love the cuff on this one. So view B has a little cuff action going on there. I also have the option to do a shorts. And what I've been seeing is like a tailor-made shorts, not a short shorts, like something that hits you above the knee, really tailored. I see this like a linen shorts and a long blazer. So for me, a complete suit with this one would be, which is view D. Uh, you'd get that nice black linen in my idea. I'm making um, a black linen shorts, a black long blazer, and a white shirt. And again, my tried and true shirt pattern is what I'll be going for. So this one, a black blazer, black tailored shorts. And again, this is nice because this can be dressed up with heels. This can be, um, you can rock this with sneakers or anything like that. So yes, I like this for this particular shorts option. And I like this for the pants with the cuff because look at this one on a cold fall day, a very practical piece. This one, you can dress up with heels and a nice, um, this one like a cuff shirt, collared shirt, or it can go with a nice bow shirt or something like something with a bow, slinky, anything. So this pants option has several things. Again, my tailor-made shorts with blazers, heels, or sneakers. That's a very um, classic look. This one here is a tailored short, uh, pants. I love the big cuffs. You don't see those in the stores anymore. So I like this one and the option is endless with this. In terms of fabric, I'm sorry, I need my glasses. I don't know why I keep taking it off because the glare. All right, so for this one, it says there are several fabrics. There's cotton blends, there's gabardine, which I wouldn't make, linen blend, there's stretch wovens, there's twill and wool blends. So, this for me would be the wool blend, 
right here. And I, uh, since my first one, I'm seeing like, I like like a plaid with this one, with the wool for winter, fall. But let me start off with the pants and see how well I do before I get into trying to make the hardest option, which is um, lining up stripes, lining up plaid. I'm gonna try and make this first in plain and see what happens. But definitely the shorts, tailored shorts, a blazer, white shirt, sneakers or heels is why I like this one. So all great options, lot to look forward to. I didn't get a lot of the simplicity pattern from the haul. I have um, several and I'm thinking there's so many options to go from. So again, I got a backup of my dress, which I already have. I forgot to get another one of this, which I'm gonna go back for. But yeah, that's all I, I picked up this week. And so I paired them with a couple of fabrics that I already have, plus a fabric haul I just did from Mood. Um, I did one from Mood, the last one. This one's a new one that came in. So I have tons over 10 pieces here that I have options to work on. So that's it I have for this week. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.